Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to apply a Newton Epson method in Excel. Uh, I will show you by example. Uh, suppose we have to solve this equation x cube minus 3x square minus 5x plus 2. Okay, so if you re recall uh, Newton Epson method, this is the equation for Newton Epson. So what do you need? We need a guess value x or you can say xi starting then what we do we calculate the value of the function at xi and we need the derivative value of fun uh, derivative function at that xi okay so this is the f and this is the uh, derivative 3x square minus 6x minus 5 Okay, so we start by uh, guess value. You can give any guess value two. Then what we need to do, we need to calculate the value of function at this x. So our function is this one. So x cube minus three times x square minus five times x plus two. So at this xi, the value of function is minus 12. And here, value of uh, derivative, which will be 3 times x square minus 6x minus 5. Okay, so xi is 2, f exercise is minus 12, the derivative is minus 5. So what is the next step? The next x will be as per this equation, as per this formula, which is xi, the old one, minus fxi divided by f dash xi. And that's it. You enter this one and then you drag this one. The second iteration is complete. Now, what you need to do is just drag all of them together. And you see here this is the convergence. Value of x is converging, value of f x i is almost 0 now. So here is the answer now. This looks very easy. This is the answer. And the value of f x i is 0. So 0.339, there is no almost no error. If you expand, you may, might see some something. Okay. So this is the answer. And Suppose you expect that there is more than one root, what you can do, you can change the guess value and see what happens. If I change the guess value 5, yes, it is converging to the new uh, root. It is now 4.113. So around 5, the second root is 4.1043. And you expect more than maybe one more root. Okay, let's give like negative something if it is there. Yes, there is third root because this is a cubic equation. We expect three roots. I just give the random guess. I am converging to the new values. So one of the values is, is this. Okay, I will paste it here. Okay, minus 1.4. If you drag this, okay, 1 minus 1.43. Now, I will change the guess value to 3, suppose. Yeah, okay. The one, the second answer is this root. And if I make it guess value 1, it is converging 2.338. So this way, 
I got all the roads which, which are this one so one two and three three roots using applying Newton Rapson in Excel hope it's clear to you